Roses are red, my name is Jamal. London Mosque becomes first to accept cryptocurrency after Bitcoin declared halal. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another week of high quality meme reviews where this week the biggest, baddest, blackest news of all, aside from the royal wedding, is Kendrick Lamar's latest concert where he invites a white fan on stage to sing Mad City, a rap song with profanity, and the n-word multiple times over, and then gets upset when she recites it in front of him using the n-word. Wait, 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 indeed. You go to a Kendrick Lamar concert, get called up on stage to rap one of his most famous songs, and you don't even know the fucking words? Now, a lot of people are bringing this to light for a number of reasons. Half people are upset that Kendrick Lamar got mad that she rapped his song the way he wrote it, and other people are calling it staged, which I believe a little bit more so. I mean, why would Kendrick Lamar give himself bad publicity? But you guys know me better than this. We're not here for the politics of it all. We're here for the spicy memes. White people when Kendrick invites them to the stage from now on. I don't know this one. SpongeBob SquarePants. Spoon Bob ScarePad. Spoonge Mom Queer Dad. The N Word. If you're wondering what meme you need to be focusing on this week, do this one. This is my favorite thing so far. I love this meme. White people. White girl saying the N Word on stage. Is this Kendrick Lamar's fault? And then on the other side of the coin, Kendrick Lamar, his own fan. Is this a racist? While we're on the topic of race, the royal wedding just happened. American actress Meghan Markle just got married to Prince Harry. A black woman just got married to the Prince of England. Are you listening? Because the memes are. In a world full of Nicki Minaj's, be a Meghan Markle. Hashtag royal wedding. Okay, but Meghan Markle didn't bring out the pink Lamborghini just to race with China, then take a wraith to China just to race in China. She's not a bad Trini bitch that's mixed with China with a real thick vagina that could smuggle bricks to China. I'll pass. My mixtape comes out next week, by the way. Subscribe to my channel. LOL, it's like Meghan went to every wedding vendor and said, okay, but does the service come in black? Reverend. Black. Other reverend, let's have that as a black woman, please. Cellist, yes, also black. Choir, the blackest. Top 10 things that will happen when Queen Elizabeth dies. Big Ben just fucking explodes. Priest, do you what? Harry, what, mate? Priest, do you what? Megan, I do. Priest, right metal, isn't it? Crowd, Blimey. Hey, don't crucify me over my British accent, alright? I have this like 5 in the morning right now. And if you didn't know, I live in America, where the current hot button topic is school shootings and gun control. People have recently been memeing the emoji switchover from real weapons to water guns and such. And so here we go. AK-47's potential school shooter. Tech companies changing the gun emoji. Gun control effectiveness. Banning guns, 99%. Banning schools, 99%. Banning emojis, 100%. There we go. The water gun emoji, any other possible solution to reducing gun violence. Gun violence, your move, Yugi. Changing the gun emoji. Oh no, to the shadow run. I haven't seen the show in a decade. On a related note, if this 2019 reboot of Ed and Eddie actually goes through, I'm jumping out of a fucking window. National security, some pixels shaped like a firearm. Now this Coke and Mentos meme is actually gonna be the last meme we take a look at today. I don't think I need to explain it to you, so let's take a look at some spicy examples. Angry girlfriend, calm down. Feminists, logic and reason. Kendrick Lamar performing a song he wrote that repeatedly says the n-word. Inviting a white girl on stage to sing his song. Ah, it's perfect. My ass and spicy chicken curry. Great, well that's the epitome of this meme. We're definitely not going to get better, so I'll end it right there. Thanks so much for sticking around and watching this latest episode of High Quality Meme Review. It means a lot to me. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this every week. And leave a comment down below if you have any questions. I'll catch you guys next week. Peace.